The terrorists who attacked the AK-9 Abuja Kaduna train passengers on March 28 have released another seven hostages, including a family of six and a woman. The identities of the released family of six are Abubakar Idris Garber, his wife Mariam Abubakar Bobo, and their eldest son, Ibrahim Abubakar Garba, who is 10 years old, among others. Also released is a 60-year-old woman, one Ajia Aisha Hassan, who was said to have been released due to life-threatening health challenges that deteriorated recently. Although Tukur Mamu, publisher of Kaduna-based Desert Herald and media consultant with controversial Islamic cleric, Sheikh Hamad Gumi, withdrew as one of the negotiators, he confirmed the release of the seven hostages to journalists in Kaduna. There is no bound for negotiations. 65 of us boarded March 28, 2022. We boarded the train, a federal government train. For goodness sake, what does it take the federal government to negotiate, to sit with these people, find out their grievances? They have innocent people, hardworking people, men who are, have left their children, they have left their wives for over 135 days. There are people there stranded. They don't have any means. Please, we're pleading on the federal government. Please, sit with these people. Seek Sheikh Gumi's audience, please, by the grace of God, with him here, he could assist and alleviate and help solve these problems. It's been tough, but we thank God for, for his grace and mercy. Uh, we've, and, and the prayers, we know that we've prayed and we know that we've had the prayers of our loved ones with us uh, uh, back in the forest there. It hasn't been easy. Everyone has been sick. I came back with my daughter sick because there has not been medication. She hasn't been responding to treatment that, uh, for, from the medications they've given. But we thank God for mercy and grace. And we just pray that the rest of the people back with, that we left back would be released as soon as possible so whatever the government or whoever it is that can support to get them out we pray that they do whatever they can to get them out as soon as possible we're happy after 135 days this family this beautiful family innocent family have secured their release this morning uh, my call is targeted to two people first the kidnappers what will they benefit from taking innocent people? People who are themselves weak, especially children, families. What benefits do they want to incur? If they are complaining of grievances, then you don't uh, vent your anger. You don't vent your anger on the innocent. So I beseech them and pray to them to please release everybody. And let's come and sit down on the negotiating table and see how we can solve our problems together. I am happy that uh, none of them is injured or none of them is uh, physically abused. But the psychological trauma will need uh, a lot of time to heal. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.